Hey guys, how you doing? This is Maggot Sector and I'm here today to bring a review for One Piece episode 893. And with this episode, it can really be split into two parts. Everything that happened on the beach with Luffy, and everything that happened revolving Zoro. So with Luffy now, it's really about him remembering how to get, how he got separated from the rest of the crew. So this gives you the indication that Sanji, Nami, Chopper, uh, Carrot, and whoever I left out, you can assume they're safe and that Luffy took them to safety using the Skywalk and like we see what happens with Luffy, him getting um wrapped up with the octopus, drowning and then being washed up at sea and just this bit of the chapter with him at the beach. We also have his riding with the Kylo Pirates, this lets us know that Basil Hawkins is now working on the Kylo and we see within this episode one of the people under Basil Hawkins come to the beach, they know about the trespassing ship, they don't know it's a straw hat ship yet, but they know about the trespassing ship, they come to that um they come to investigate it to see that there's one pirate there that gets to a little confrontation between Luffy and this and this pirate. Luffy makes light work of this pirate, no name attacks, just a Bow. And, then, and, then, and then the same again with the leg, I can't show you my leg unfortunately, but yeah, that, that's what happened. Also during the scene on the beach, we have Luffy meet Otama, and she's just a girl with a devil ability so far. There might be more to her as things go up, but yeah, she's just a girl with a devil ability. We see her use a devil fruit ability within this episode, rip off a piece of her cheek, feed it to her animal, the animal then tamed. What do you call that? I don't even think that's been um revealed in the manga yet, but you know <laughs> suggestions and names go for it. Um actually I think it has I think it has been revealed. But yeah, anyway. So that's everything revolving Luffy. Um and now we have to stuff about Zoro to talk about within this episode. So obviously, obviously we know from last episode Zoro went on the quote unquote rampage. He's made a show of himself, so therefore, people of Wano are now looking for him. He hurt a lot of people, so now they're looking for him. So now Zoro is technically under run. He doesn't even really, you like, know, he's not bothered, he's not fussed about it, but technically, he is now under run because people are now looking for him. He is wanted in Zoro. He's got a, he's got a Wano wanted poster, and people are, come, are coming for him, and talk of him has been. Spreading <laughs> throughout the town, therefore, now Frankie knows about his rampage, Zoro knows about his rampage, and Usopp also knows about his rampage as well. It was funny with Usopp when he was looking at the wanted poster, and then the officer was like, You know him, don't you? And then he went into his whole life thing, that was kind of funny as well. But regarding that bit of the chapter, some of it was filler, obviously. Uh, like when you see Zoro drinking under the bridge, I don't remember that happened in the manga, and it's just a way to fill out the episode, God in this episode anyway. The highlight, because I, I saved this bit for last, I sort of saved, but I talk about this bit for last. Highlight of the episode was the Dragon Twister. Animation on that was good. Throughout the whole episode, I thought it was good actually, it just you know, better than usual, better than previous arcs. But yeah, for that, it was really good. And it just got me hyped, it just got me hyped. I was like, yeah, this is looking good. And it's just a normal dragon twist. I'm sure we've seen that move before and back in um, uh, Fishman Island. Or was that a black dragon twist? I can't remember. Anyway, but yeah, that was the highlight of the episode. Still, you know, pacing is slow, and I understand why it has to be just slow because. We're still in Wonder within the within the manga, and I don't think it's there's too it's not too far behind. I mean, not too far behind. It could catch up fairly easily if it did even just one chapter per week. So yeah, I can I can understand the pacing at this point. But that's a whole nothing different topic, a whole different video about pacing the one piece and all that. Stuff, so blah 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 blah. So I'm gonna give this episode a three star rating. I think it deserves at least that. Call it review, like always, guys. I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.